for my safety, I can't stop driving. By some person, one, two, five. Five hundred miles from home. Five hundred miles from family and friends. Still on five hundred miles to go. Was it really worth it for a work trip? I made good money, yeah, but why do I specifically need to go to a conference in San Antonio? After I wrapped up that thought, I put out my cigarette and then entered the gas station. I grabbed some chips, gum, and a coffee. I went up to the counter and got ready to check out. Hi, find everything you need? Uh, yeah, at least to get me through tonight. She started ringing up my items. You from around here? No, I'm from out of town, Iowa actually. I'm going to San Antonio for a business thing. She handed me my receipt. Just a word of advice. This town gets a bit abnormal at night. I wouldn't recommend driving until morning. I grabbed my stuff and thanked her for the advice, but I'd be fine. As I exited the gas station, I realized how dark it was outside. I looked at my watch and it was 10 minutes before 11. As I looked up, I swear I saw a person disappear into the dark of night. I shrugged it off, got in my car, and started my drive. I lit up a cigarette and turned up the radio station I was listening to. I saw it again. That same guy. Except I got a weird feeling. He was watching me from the side of the road. I turned onto a long, dark road and it was supposed to lead me to the freeway. After ten minutes, I started to get confused. I glanced at my GPS and it showed my car not moving. I sighed. Just what I needed, a dang broken GPS. I turned around, but another five minutes went by, and the surroundings never changed. I started to freak out a bit, but after a minute, I managed to calm myself down somewhat. What was weird, though, was there wasn't anything but forest and road. No wildlife, either. There's no way I got lost on a freaking straight road, I thought. Then it appeared. I saw it first in my rearview mirror. A human-like figure with long, lanky arms, large void-like eyes with no mouth. It somehow stayed with my car, even though it's not moving. Almost like it is teleporting towards me. Its gaze made me look away, but it kept appearing in my head. The radio turned to static, and then I had to turn it off. After the scream started blaring through, the figure, or entity, or whatever was still behind me, I was hoping to come across some kind of civilization, but I still had yet to see anything else but a road and the darkness of night. Two hours went by and I was starting to get tired. I was afraid to stop because of the thing behind me. I tried to turn back on the radio again, but that was a mistake. The screaming continued through and I turned it off again. I started to cry. I was shaking and terrified. I almost swerved off into darkness and I had to try to somewhat compose myself. I heard breathing in the back seat and my blood ran ice cold. I looked in my rearview mirror. Nothing. I then realized that the thing behind me must be freaking with me somehow. I felt it watching me, analyzing even my tiniest movements I made. It's still in my head. I try and try, but I can't block it out. It's etched into my memory, probably for as long as I live. I still have yet to see civilization. My eyes drew heavy, but I fought to keep them open. I drank the rest of my coffee and kept as much alertness as I could. That thing is still trailing me. I decided to give that thing a name from now on. Might as well, since just calling it that thing gets kind of confusing. It will be referred to as the Tall Stalker from now on. The tall stalker appeared in front of me. It tried to run me off the road, and I dang near did. I don't think it can get me if my car is moving. I thought about driving off-road, but there's too much risk. I'd crash. There's a forest on both sides of the road. I've been using voice attacks to document my situation. Hopefully I can find a way out. If not, my last resort is hoping someone somehow finds this. I'd post it. If that happens, it is too late for me. My watch said 6 a.m., but nothing in my scenery changed. I noticed my car's tank was almost empty. Shoot, 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 I thought. I glanced at the tall stalker in the rearview mirror, and even though it had no mouth, I could tell it was happy. I couldn't stop shaking. I should have taken that cashier's advice. 
Did she know? How could she know? How could anyone? This feels like a nightmare, but I'm awake. I know I am. I heard the breathing in my backseat again. This time, I didn't pay attention to it. I think it got angry. It tried to run me off the road again, this time putting my brother in the middle of the road. I swerved and nearly spun out. My life flashed before my eyes. I knew I would never see my family or friends again. My town or anything for that matter. All that has been my life for seven hours is a road of complete darkness. I started to feel hopeless. Had I started to accept everything. As scared as I was, what could I do? The car started to slow down. Then it came to a complete stop. And I looked in my rearview mirror. The tall stalker was getting closer. Almost like it was taking its time. It seemingly confident I wouldn't escape. I'm going to try to make a run for it. Maybe I can get out of this place. Hey guys, and thank you so much for watching today's story. If you did enjoy it, please feel free to leave a like as it does help the channel innumerably and does get the gospel in all people's feeds as well as consider subscribing as we are trying to hit 1,000 subs by the end of the year and it would be a massive blessing if you guys did so. Please read the million dollar question. It's on screen right now as well as in the description or one of the pinned comment. Do not to become born again. By repenting with sins and trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ, I'll, I'll tell you to read the Holy Bible daily, pray to the evangelist people, do all those great things. Please consider it. Um, I'm really tired, so if you hear background noise from my brother's freaking talking, I truly do apologize. Um, I've been up for early for me. I'm sure you can hear them in the background right now. I asked them to be quiet, but of course, that's not really going to happen. Could have went to my nana's, but there was some kind of spider cricket over there last night. Good golly gosh. I'll put a screen of the, uh, uh, well, eh. I guess I'll put the uh, picture of what I took on screen, um, right now, but, uh, yeah, it's a creepy mother fricker. I'll tell you something. Um, anyways, um, please also consider joining the Discord. It is in the description as well, and it is awesome. As well as the author's story, original story post, and the, and his, um, Reddit page, as well as Mew, the awesome guy who makes all of the, or all the music for these, uh, stories. Not specifically for those, I just use the music that he makes, but they are amazing. So awesome, in fact, that I actually listen to them when I'm not recording. They're that good. I'm very, very much my massive fan of him. Uh, which, let's be honest, that game that I've talked about that he was making post trauma, I'll leave a link for that in the description about a video of him talking about it. But honestly, I'll probably eventually get that game solely for the music. So, yeah. Um, I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I want to thank you guys. I want to thank you, Lord, for all the support. So, thank you guys and thank you, Lord, for that. And I love y'all and I'll see you in tomorrow's. Hopefully tomorrow it'll be part four of New Wilderness. I will try. I'm not going to promise anything. It might just be another some person one, two, five. But um, yeah, Fortnite Chapter Five, y'all. Peter Griffin, Snake, Tiger Man. Very, very excited. Stay tuned for videos on uh, the live event. This was my cousin, cousin Alex Magglebear, and one of his friends that we kind of just did. It. Those guys are the latter two are kids that want, they just. Uh, his friend I've never met before, he just kind of hopped in our party, the other one, he was a stream viewer, and, you know, I don't know, I don't mind him just kind of chilling out, so I helped him get to level 70, which there'll also be a video on that, uh, try to help out folks in the community, you know, so, I love y'all, God bless you. I'll talk to you soon, until next time guys, this is Ninja Gamer, setting up.